Treasures by Naomi here and it is I don't know quarter after midnight and I'm bored yes I know there are other things that I could be doing that would be more productive such as um sleeping but no instead I decided you know what I'm gonna paint because I have this overwhelming need to express myself with color. And I love color. Who doesn't love color? Um, but it is also a therapy for me. And I have leftover paint and it's saying, Use me, Naomi. Use me. So, leftover paint. I have no idea what's in here. Um, I think it could be gold and teal. But I want to use it before it separates. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, lots of different colors. And then to add along with that, I'm going to add in some more yellow. Some white. And because, you know, teal and blue... Uh, I have some of this metallic blue left. I think that's a metallic blue. Yeah, I have no idea what color that is. And let's see. Wait. There's thalo blue. Yeah, anyways. I think this is the, I have no idea what color these are. I really should label these. Yeah, I really think this is the metallic. Yep. Instead of guessing. Anyways. Let's start adding some colors. And today, we're just going to add, add it in. I don't have, um... There's not a need for, like, a lot of paint for this. Um, it's only an 8x10 canvas. Nothing major. My cat is giving me the stink eye, saying, Mom, what are you doing? And as usual, also the sign that she's going to be jumping up. But I don't want her to jump up. Shake, shake, shake. Drop it in. All right. Um, out of my nine ounce cup, it's about halfway there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this thalo blue. All right, smack in the dab. And I still have not refilled any of my gloves, so I'm going to go grab a wet towel. Now, if any of y'all are fluid artists as well that are watching this, um, I use these reusable cloths. These are amazing. As long as you rinse it out when it's still damp, these last seriously a long time long ass time all right so weirdest color cup ever it I, I don't i don't know what's gonna come of this but let's pour and find out i have too much paint in my cup I'm getting mud. I see mud. I think there was gold in there. Gold creates a funky color when it sits too long. Mm. 
and I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fine. Okay. It's like a murky color in there. It's weird. All right. Let's just start stretching. I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna go this way. There goes on my blue. Hey look, there's teal. And mud. Alright. That is a leftover paint pour. Well, I think there was silicone in there too. Let's torch it. I'm gonna let that sit for maybe 20 minutes. I'm gonna go watch some more YouTube. <laughs> then I'll uh, see what comes up next. See you guys in a bit. All right, so I didn't really let it sit that long. This is it right now. Um, I'm not gonna do a close up because I am actually going to use the rest of the paint um, covering this light switch plate. Um, I previously did this one and I didn't like it, so I peeled it off. <laughs> Very cool thing. Anyways, so I'm going to move my painting, hopefully without dropping it, over here. And now I'm going to take a plate. I'm going to stick it right there. All right. And with the rest of this paint, we're just going to paint right on over it. We'll either get something really gross there's something really pretty. Ooh, look at that. There's the teal. Oh, I love that teal. I don't remember when I made that color. I think I made it for another painting. And I made a lot of it. I made a lot of it. I'm just going to... I don't really want to move this too much to that it is already... Um, slightly curved. I know a lot of this is going to run off naturally. Let's see if there's any more of that yellow in there. Pick that up. Come on. That's really gnarly looking, actually. Um, gonna try and fill up some spots. I believe there may have been some silicone in here, so 
This is more of an experiment to see if it even works um, on this type of product, you know, this type of canvas, even though it's really not a canvas. all those little internal edges are covered okay now I'm really gonna let this sit for a little bit and I will be right back and see what happens All right, so I let these two things sit here for quite a bit. I was watching the game, uh, Ellen DeGeneres' uh, Game of Games. Anyways, if you haven't watched it, very funny. And that's the point. Um, I've let these sit here for quite some time. I'm going to do a close-up to show you guys what has occurred and some of my favorite spots. So here is the painting. And let's pray I don't drop my phone. And... Unfortunately, I have really bad lighting, so sorry. Nice shadows. Really pretty, beautiful colors, actually. Too bad you can't really see it because of the shadow. Let me turn my camera sideways. All right, so we're looking at it from sideways. Um, I'm really, really digging this spot right over here. These cells are really cool. It's kind of like a waterfall. If you look at it this way, I don't know why, it makes me think peacock. Um, this little touch of blue. <laughs> Just a little thing. So there's the painting. But my favorite part is the light switch plate. I think once that dries, it'll be nice and matte. And then what I will do with that is I will cover it in a really nice rich glaze it's where it's super glossy um yeah so those are the pieces today i may end up actually um if the painting sells which hopefully it does i may throw in the light plate just because because just because anyways thanks so much for watching guys uh, if you did enjoy this, please like my video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you click the little bell icon, you'll be first to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Alright, and as always, you guys, keep on pouring.